We talk about mindset, so you also have to talk about choices and decisions. Tonight, we decide to be wealthy with Mr. Kalaiko. You really have to decide. It's, yeah. a, choice, right? it's a choice. It's a choice. It's a decision. And you were saying that uh, your singular most important message to people is? Well, on money, okay. you cannot share what you don't have. Number one. Right. And number two is, at any income level, you can plan to achieve and achieve a comfortable financial lifestyle. Okay. But, as I said, you need to prepare that. You need to prepare a mindset. You have to be three days. This dapat determinado ka, decidido ka, at saka ano ka na, disiplinado ka. Puhunan talaga ay pagkatao mo. Pagkatao. Oo, pagkatao mo talaga ang puhunan mo. And, Uh, this whole idea that everything comes easy should be out of our minds. You know, you, you work hard at it. And especially when you work hard at it, dapat pinaplano at pinamanage mo ng maayos. And you were talking about wealth and money. Yeah, it's my, I don't know if I call it theory, I just have a, believe it so much that ang kayamanan hindi na uubos. Because kayamanan is your pagkatao. Your salubin, your mindset, your values, your value system. Yung pera is just a means eh. Nauubos ang pera. Pero ang kayamanan. Kayamanan din. Pag may kayamanan kang tama, pera will come naturally. I agree. I really agree. Ulitin lang natin yan. Pag tama ang iyong kayamanan, sumusunod ang pera. Tama. Totoo yun. Because that should attract the money, the cash. But how do you talk to your children about money? Well, you know, that thing came to mind when I was invited by City Group Foundation to be a speaker at the second financial summit in Kuala Lumpur several years ago. And one of the topics is, when do you talk about money to children? children? And one of the psychologists, experts, are said, the moment they start asking about money, <laughs> and that's early. Kasi yung bata, mas gusto nila yung coins kesa sa 500 peso bill, di ba? That's true. So that's why kami ni Dr. Nina, Lim Yuson, Lim Yuson, we collaborated to should drop all the stories para malaman ng mga parents how to guide their children that money is not the end. It's just a means. But you have to handle it well. It's kind of coming down from the principle of stewardship, di ba? Means lang yan eh. Right. Hindi pang, hindi tinatago yan eh. And neither is it evil. Of course not. Di ba kasi, you know, masama yan, hindi ano yan, dapat ang pera, ay ganoon. Kasi early on, as, you know, as children, marami tayong paniniwala na narinig natin nung tayo bata, and we try to undo them pag medyo mag-alak na tayo. Pati yung usury, di ba? Right. Sa akin, walang mahal na utang. Walang mahal. Magiging mahal yan, depende sa paggamit mo eh. Pumunta ako sa'yo na sabihin mo ng 10% one day. Binili ko ng kalakal, nabenta ko, kumita ko ng 30%, binayarang kita. Dimineto ko ng 20%. 20%. Masama ba yan? Hindi. Nagbuhay ako. Tinulungan mo ako. Okay. So, abilidad talaga. And you are aware of your transaction. You are aware of... I learned that from my mom. I very... Kuala mo. Sabi niya, At that time, simply she was a single parent. Occasionally, she would have to borrow at high cost. Occasionally. I mean, let's say we were not dirt poor, but, you know, simply mga needs, no? Sabi ko, gagalit ako. Nung lalo na high school na ako. Sabi ko, mama, bakit ganun? Huwag, huwag ka. Your mother taught at the USD, right? Yeah. Sabi niya, nakatulong sa atin yan. Why? Because she invested it in our education. Right. So, Good debt. Good debt. And <laughs> what you would say in your yeah. books. Okay, but just before this conversation, we tried to solicit uh, questions. I mean, people who are interested to be wealthy tonight. I mean, this can be the beginning. I'm, I'm always very hopeful. I'm always very positive that, you know, when people say, no, I'm too old, I'm too busy to even think about it. No. You can make a decision, you can choose. Yeah. You know, when I was reading the books, I used to be so proud about, you know, working so hard at doing my job well, but you know, I don't talk about money because I don't understand about, I don't understand money. No. You deserve to understand money because you work hard for it. Okay? Because kami, di ba, yung, you know, I'll do my hosting job well, but I'll, you know, I don't want to think about it. At the end of the day, we don't know where our money is. Yeah. Okay? 
take full responsibility. Yeah, when you're earning very well, I don't need my own. Take full responsibility of your life. And part of that life is actually the money you earn. That's right. Okay. po. How do you manage your finances when your head is barely above water? Medyo nasagot na natin yan. But uh, you have to start someplace. One peso, is, you need to save one peso to go to a million. Okay, that answers very quickly. How much of uh, how much of what you have should you share? Pag hindi ka naman nag-share swapang ka from Arnold Peña. Well, the principle of tithing is 10%. Kanya-kanyang Stilo. Yan, mm -hmm. okay. okay. How do you explain to people na walang libre without being misconstrued as overly negosyante from Ed Mina? How do you explain? Yeah, di ba na mga tao na pag naningil ka naman siya, sobra naman ito, ninegosyo na, pati ano. Oh, well, pag, oh. sasabihin nila yon when you overcharge, siguro. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Dapat marunong ka rin mga presyo. Oh, yung mga tao na sasabihin to begin with, they were not committed to learn. They were not committed to learn. Kahit tasingin mo lang ako ng one half centavo, mahal eh. Okay. Most Filipinos live below poverty line. Is your book for them? From Vic Aguila. My book is for everyone who start with earning and he wants to improve his life financially. Carmen Pascual, how do I teach my seven-year-old daughter the concept of saving? Well, uh, yung sinasabi natin, bibigyan mo siya ng... Make it a game. Make, make playful, it a, no? Playful, enjoy, make it enjoyable. Okay. Kung meron siya alamon sa 10 pesos a day, o sabihin mo, pagka ba kasi dodoblehin ko, Ah, para mabili mo yung maganda mong... May incentive, incentive system, no? Ganun. Ganda. Nancy Bartolome, ano ho itong active income? I'm sure Nancy has gone over uh, your books, no? Ano itong active ma income and passive income? Well, sabi ko niya sa buhay natin, para tayong coin eh. One side is active entrepreneur. We make money by sweat. By our sweat. Pagkatabahuan. Okay. Pagkatabahuan. The other side? The other side is what you make, you pay yourself. In your own. Yun kasi tanawag po feasibilities eh. Okay. The ability to make money and the ability of your money to make money for you. Okay. I get that. Sabay yan. The moment you start earning one peso, sabay mong ginagawa. Hindi yung, ah, pag-retire ko na nga ako mag-i-invest. It's too late. Time ang kailangan mo eh. Pwede yung sabay. Cora Hernandez, how do you tell a child that what he wants is not what he needs? Because you discuss this in your books. And what he needs is not what he wants. The difference between that needs. want and needs, yes. Need and, well, that's a family, that's a family matter. Pera is a family matter. You need to really talk to and show your children. Uh, you need a nice pair of shoes. You need to buy a Ferragamo or maybe a, a more simple but elegant pair of shoes will do. Minsan nga dyan, six months old yung bata, naka-pelaga mong kwan. Eh, after one week, masikip na eh. Alright. <laughs> Niiyak yung bata, pinapakain yung pinapakain, yung pala masikip yung sapatos. Doon lamang sa kaya? Yung mga ganun eh. Doon lang sa kaya. At practical. I'm learning that. 